space. It says, is big. Really big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemists, but that's just peanuts to space. This was a quote from beloved The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Recently we got to see the very first real picture taken of a black hole. It was announced that the amount of data gathered for the picture was 5 petabytes. First of all, no. Even if the arguably bad memes told you so, these drives are not the full 5 petabytes. Far from it actually and I am going to explain why. See, each of those 8 tracks can hold up to 8 3 and half inch HDDs. The largest 3 and half inch HDD on market is 14 terabytes in capacity. Keep in mind those drives are not recently bought, and with enterprise market there's tendency to always buy a bit older products than what has just came out so it's certain they aren't faulty in any ways. We're talking about extremely valuable data here. Ok so 8 by 8 by 14 terabytes equals 896 terabytes. That's less than one fifth of the expected value. Keep in mind we're talking about extremely valuable data NASA would want to keep in as lossless state as possible, so don't give me any of that deduplicating and compressing 90% of the data nonsense. We haven't even touched the subject of redundancy yet. On a side note I want to point out that with SSDs the task on hand would be a walk in the park. If those were 100 terabyte SSDs like Exar Drive DC100, fit would be plentiful. 6400 terabytes would be enough for a bit of parity too. The problem here is that they are HDDs a technology that could make HDDs that much bigger would be revolutionary. Sadly, such thing does not exist. In the best case scenario I'm counting totally wrong and there are 128 HDDs per rack and, and they are pre-production 16 terabytes. That would still add up as be mere 2 petabytes. I have to confess. I actually knew all along how big those drives are. Inside the crates are individual boxes with modules that each hold 8 hard disks with a total capacity of 64 terabytes. This is from the official EHT blog. We have got 8 terabyte HDDs right here. 8 by 8 by 8 equals 512 terabytes in total. Now let's take a look at another frequently pointed out seemingly unimportant piece of trivia. The HDDs in total weighted half a ton. Typical hard drive weights from 600 to 800 grams, with these bigger enterprise disks on the high end. Let's say 780 grams. To get 5 petabytes worth of storage from these 8 terabyte drives, we would need 10 times the amount shown in the picture. That adds up to 640 HDDs. And guess what, 640 by 780 grams is just about half a million of grams. So what about redundancy? Based on our calculations and things we know there can't really be more HDDs. I'm certain NASA has every single bit of the data backupped in multiple locations. But the thing in our hands is that, either we're looking at a huge just a bunch of disks, jbod array, or NASA is mistaken. What if instead of the data being 5 petabytes, the amount of storage used for it is? Actual size of the data could be just under 2 and half petabytes. Shocking.